We're here at Horbiger Corporation in Houston, and this is a Blanchard grinder that we retrofitted about five years ago. The, it's just a single axis control. We turned the spindle on, turned coolant on, turned a grinding wheel on. It had a Blanchard's own control on it from probably the early 80s, and the customer had gotten to where it was broken all the time, and they would have to constantly spend big money to get it fixed. And the last time, one of the main boards went bad in it and they just couldn't get it repaired. So we had talked them into putting a new control on it. And they were a little skeptical at first, but our price for the retrofit was probably a third of the price of what Blanchard wanted to do the same thing. And we came in, tore all the old stuff off, mounted a new Yaskawa servo motor on it, put it together made a custom front end program for it so the operator only had to enter in four different variables for writing his program and it was real simple to teach him how to use it and they love it so much now the other machine right next to it already got an order for this quarter to take and do the same thing on it because they've had every time that goes down it costs them about four thousand dollars to get it fixed the screen which goes bad on it a lot the factory said we basically have no more they want to retrofit this, that one too. Now here's the custom program that the operator uses to put in the variables for what he wants. He just basically tells what RPM he wants to run at, what feed rate he wants to run at, what finish dimension he wants, and how much of a spark out time he wants at the bottom of the part. Then he just hits accept, it writes the program for him, and he's ready to run. We kept all the original contactors and fuses and main circuit breaker and we added in a new panel. Here's where the old part of the old control, actually the old servo drive went. We made a custom plate to just a bolt in the same spot and put an MPU 11 with a GPIO 4, a few power supplies, a few relays and a servo drive over on the side next to it. This is a 4.4 kilowatt Yaskawa Sigma 2 drive. And just being a single axis control, that's all we had to do. All fit, it fit in a little hole perfectly. <laughs> 